I'm going to show how to use a pipe wrench. A mechanic named Daniel Stilson got a patent for a fixed pipe wrench. These wrenches are also called a Stilson wrench or Stilsons. The primary purpose of a pipe wrench is to grip and turn a soft pipe or to turn a round fitting. If used on hard material, the teeth may slip. Using a pipe wrench on a nut or hex or square stock can break the pipe wrench's teeth. There is one occasion where you would use a pipe wrench on a nut and that's if the nut is rounded so badly that you can't get a standard wrench on it. Then you could clamp the pipe wrench on the rounded nut and turn it loose. These are straight adjustable pipe wrenches. Pipe wrenches come in different sizes. The size is usually stamped somewhere on the wrench. This one is a 10 inch and this one is a 14 inch wrench. Use the correct size wrench for the pipe that you want to turn. Here are some guidelines on proper wrench size. Notice that the hook jaw, that's this piece, rocks back and forth. This is a piece of one inch soft black pipe. To turn the pipe clockwise, position the wrench in this direction. Don't rest the hook jaw against the pipe. Center the grips of the two jaws on the pipe and then close them so that the jaws are just biting into the soft pipe and then push down on the wrench and you can see it's gripping and what's happening is these teeth on the hook jaw actually point this direction and if you remember the wrench rocks back and forth so when you push down it's actually closing down and getting a grip on the pipe. Here is the 14 inch wrench properly positioned on the pipe. These wrenches are made to be used with one hand so after you pushed down and turn the pipe you can just pick up the wrench it'll be free and then you can just push down and grip again and make another turn on the pipe. To remove the wrench from the pipe push on the end of the hook jaw with your thumb that'll spring the jaws open and the wrench can easily be removed from the pipe. If you wish to turn the pipe counterclockwise, you would just turn the wrench the opposite way and push down and turn counterclockwise. To remove this brass nipple from the galvanized fitting, you would do this. To get a good bite on the pipe, the ridges on the jaws of the wrench need to be clean. If they're not, use a small wire brush to clean them out. The serrated jaws on the pipe wrench will leave bite marks on the pipe or anything that they turn. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now for other videos, and thanks for watching.